Welcome to this Deep Lizard series where we deliver bite-sized practical and intuitive explanations for the most common terms and concepts in the field of deep learning. I'm Mandy, and the topic of this episode is perceptrons. A perceptron, also referred to as a single layer perceptron, is an algorithm that accepts an input and maps it to a binary output by the use of parameters called weights. Here we have this diagram that illustrates a single layer perceptron. This perceptron accepts a single sample that has two input features, x1 and x2, and these input features are connected to this node within the perceptron. And these connections here that are connecting the input features to this node are the weights of the perceptron. So we have one weight per input feature, W1 and W2 here. Once this input is received by this node, we calculate the weighted sum of the input features. So we simply multiply X1 by weight 1 and then add that to the product of X2 by weight 2. And this weighted sum is what we are labeling as Z, and Z is the output value of this node. Perceptron also has some predefined threshold that we compare Z against. And how Z compares to the threshold is going to determine the final output from the perceptron, which we're calling Y. Y is a binary output, so we can generally think about the output from a single layer perceptron as zero or one. So when we compare Z to the threshold, which we're calling T, then if Z is less than T, then Y is going to be equal to zero. And if Z is greater than or equal to the threshold T, then Y will equal one. So we can see that the algorithm to compute the output from a single layer perceptron is relatively simple. Just two steps, in fact. Step one, calculate the weighted sum of the inputs. Step two, compare the weighted sum to the threshold value to obtain the final binary output. Now, the weights in a single layer perceptron are first randomly initialized. And then later, through some training process, the perceptron will learn the optimal values for these weights, which most accurately map the inputs to the correct binary output. As we'll later come to understand, a single layer perceptron is considered the simplest kind of artificial neural network. We'll learn much more about these networks, as well as the training process that we touched on in later lessons. 